I'm John from theartofconcrete.ca and I'm going to be showing you some of the different tools that we use to finish concrete. I'm going to start with this one. This is a resin float. Um, this tool is great for bringing up cream, bringing up some of that cement paste when you really need it. And uh, it's also nice and long so you can hand float um, and flatten the concrete with this tool. And then I'm going to show you what a magnesium float is. This is a magnesium float. So this is your main finishing tool when you're doing concrete driveways, patios, and sidewalks. So with this, you can uh, you can really work the concrete. And it's also got a rubber handle, so it's great on your palms and wrists. And this tool I picked up last year, um, I don't like it. Um, it's called White Lightning. Um, I find the only thing it's good for is pounding the concrete. Um, I don't think that it's the ideal concrete finishing tool. Uh, mainly, I don't know, I just personally don't like this. The next one I wanted to show you was a pool trowel. So this is a steel trowel. Um, and uh, that's designed for indoor floors and surfaces like that. You can also use this on exposed aggregate to close up the aggregate. But do not use steel on um, exterior freeze thaw slabs. Um, you want to use your magnesium or a resin float to uh, to work on steel. And uh, more specifically, you want to use the steel on an indoor surface and the magnesium on uh, outdoor surfaces. So you don't want to get these tools confused because you can really screw up a concrete uh, surface if you don't know the right tools because each tool has its own purpose. Um, the magnesium floats are used for exterior freeze thaw slabs when you're doing broom finish, stamped concrete, or exposed aggregate or anything like that. You want to use a magnesium float like this. Um, the magnesium is right here. So that that's what that's used for and then you have a steel pool trowel um, like this so this is used for indoor concrete slabs such as floors um, you know uh, garage floors things like that um, but do not use the steel on an exterior broom finish or stamp project um, because it will delaminate the surface it won't allow the concrete to breathe because you're sealing it up the steel will seal up the surface and won't allow the air to breathe. So exterior slabs have uh, air bubbles inside of the concrete so that it can freeze and thaw through our climate. Indoor concrete does not have the air bubbles. So um, essentially, um, when you're using this steel one on an exterior slab, you're closing up all those little air bubbles. And that's when you get a delamination or issues with stamped concrete, uh, or broom finished concrete is because somebody was using steel to close up the surface. And then I'm going to take you guys to a, a brass finisher. So these are um, nice wide brass uh, tools by Kraft. And uh, here's another one. So this product here is brass. And that also helps close up the surface. You can use these on an indoor or outdoor uh, concrete pads. And then I have a steel. Uh, one as well. Now do not use this one on your exterior slabs because it could cause delamination. It could seal that surface up and cause issues with the um, the concrete during the winter. Now if you're in the south it doesn't really matter but if you do get and you're starting to get freezing temperatures down south be careful because a lot of that concrete might uh, might start flaking so be careful with this. Always use your brass on exterior slabs. Always use your steel on interior slabs. Now there is a bit of a catch to this because like I said with exposed aggregate, you can use steel on exposed aggregate because you're washing off that surface. You're washing off you know, an eighth of an inch of cement paste off the top. Steel doesn't really matter. I like to use steel on exposed aggregate before I spray and wash it. Um, so the other thing too is like if you're doing an exposed aggregate border, you can use steel. It works for that. 
um, but um, make sure that you only use it on exposed aggregate. And I'm also going to get more into the steel uh, used on exterior slabs so you can use it on um, exposed aggregate or stamped borders and I'll get a bit into that in the next video along with some of the other stand-up tools and things like that so don't forget to subscribe let me know what you guys think and what kind of videos you want to see